In this video, we'll learn how to create a table in Takeinter using the tree view widget. The tree view widget is a special widget in Takeinter that can be used to display information in a tabular manner using rows and columns. So here we have some product data and we will be displaying this information in today's video using a table like structure. So let's begin. I already have some of the boilerplate code written out, the imports, the empty class and the initialization of that class and the product data. So what we'll do is we've passed in the product data here. I'll just define the argument over here, products. Okay, then we'll just save it using self so we can use it in other methods if we ever define any, but we'll only be working with the init method in this video. So then we define the tree view widget, TDK, is from the TTK module, okay? Not the standard TK one, it's from the TTK module. So don't mess that up. So the first parameter, like normal, is gonna be the parent, which in this case is self, the class itself, which which has inherited from the TK.TK .tk class. So then the second parameter is gonna be the columns, the columns that we're gonna be defining in our table. So this can be like a list or a tuple, and the first one is product ID. Then the second one is the product name. Then the third one is the category of the product. And the third one is the price of the product. Okay, these are the four columns that we have defined. Now we'll also do show headings. Okay, and now we can begin uh, creating headings. There's actually a difference between column and heading in the tree view widget. It's not exactly the same thing. Basically, the column is the actual column, like you create a column, and the heading is basically what is visually shown, what is visually represented. So if I do text, like this is like the column name, and maybe the parameters show it. Yeah, there it is, column. So then the text is what is gonna be visually shown. So if I do ID small case over here, I'll show this, show this to you later, but um, the small case will show up, okay, not this one. This one is used internally, the column name that you find, def define, and the text that you define over here in heading is what's shown visually or externally. So I'll just show you that when we run this code. We'll just define the rest like normal. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we can begin inserting the product data into our table into our tree view. So we'll do, we'll just iterate over the products, then use the insert method, which is pretty simple. We just need to um, define the parent. Um, there's a parenting system in tree view. For creating a table, you don't really need to know this because the table only has one dimension, but the tree view widget can actually be used to showcase multi-dimensional information, sort of. That's how I call it. So like it can have a parent and then that parent row can have like 10 collapsible children. So that's not something that we're concerned with as long as we're creating a simple table. The tree view widget is actually not exactly meant to be a table. It's meant to be something else. It displays information in a tree-like format where you have parent nodes and child nodes, etc. But it just so happens that we can use it as a table. Okay, so just leave this as empty. Okay, it's not really really relevant to a table. Okay, so then we just type end. This basically controls where it's being added. Um, like you can do tk.end, you may have seen this. So you can just use this, it's more, it's more familiar, or you can just use a string that says end. This basically appends the row to the end of the tree view. Okay, so use whichever, it doesn't really matter. I'll just use tk.end, I use that quite often. Then we do the value, the value that we want to add, which is, in this case, product. Okay, now we just need to do one last thing, pack. We just need to pack it in. We'll also make it expandable so that it uh, expands to fit the size of our product data. Okay, we have an error over here, might be this. Let me just fix that. Okay, no, something else going on here. Okay, we have a typo, actually. 
that's silly. So it's kind of important that this and this be the same because you're referencing the column name over here. If that column name doesn't exist, it's going to raise an error. Okay, so as you can see, um, we have our tree view. It looks pretty nice. Good, good. So the thing I kind of want to point out is that we have the ID written over there. It's the small case. I just kind of wanted to prove that point. So I'll just change this to uh, uppercase now because that looks better. And we'll change that to uppercase as well. Okay, so this is how we can display information. For example, something like get all of the values in a row or get all of the values in a column. So these things are not so obvious in the tree view widget. So I thought we should cover them. So let's start by defining a get column method. And obviously this is going to take a parameter self, then take the parameter column name, the column name and the column from which we want to obtain the list of values. Okay, so what we'll do now is um, column values, we'll just define a list, and then we're going to be returning this list. And over here is where we're going to add the values into this list. So we're going to iterate over self.tree.getChildren. This basically gets all of the rows. Then what we're going to do is, let me just start by printing this out because this is going to be a bit of a lengthy command, so it's best to like break it down, print out each of the values, and then we'll chain them together. You'll understand what I'm doing in a minute. So I just want to show you two things. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll just do this for now. So uh, we, we need to actually call this method. So we'll do self.getColumn and then we'll do the name column. So what we're doing, I just want to show you what this outputs, okay, what the output of this is. So what this is going to output is that for each row, because we iterate over each row, for each row it's going to print out all of the values in that row. Now what we want to do is obtain from each one of these rows, we want to obtain this column, the name column, okay, this over here. Now, how do we do that? Well, this is just a tuple, right? So what we can do is index it using standard indexing. We could do something like, um, you know, one, and this would give us the value. But we need to do this in a way that, you know, scales off the column name over here, because uh, obviously it's not going to be the, the first index every single time, right? Like, what if we want to um, do the price column? So we can just change that, right? We need to keep this dynamic. So what I'm going to do to make this work is self dot tree dot uh, sorry not dot columns. This is actually where the list of columns is stored. So if you ever want a list of the columns inside the tree view, we, you can just print it out using this way. Then what we're going to do is index, okay? Because this returns a list, then we can use the index method on that list, and then pass in the column name, and then it returns the index of this column name, which is, in this case, is going to be one, okay? So I hope you were following al along with that. So what we're just gonna do now is column values dot append, then just append this over here. And yeah, okay, that's, that's good enough. So we just did this and yeah. We just need to print that out, okay? Because this returns the values. We just need to print out those values, and we're good. See, there we have all of the values in the name column. Let's do the same for price, and we get all of the different prices. Now let's do one for get row. Also, this this is actually we've already covered this technically. We covered it right here. This is how you get the uh, values of a row, you just pass in the row ID. So, but we'll just make a method for that anyway. So we'll do row ID or row index. Okay. And then we'll do row, or we'll just do this directly really. We can just do this in one line, self.tree.item. Then we'll do um, self.tree.getChildren. We just need to get the ID basically get children returns the list of IDs then we can just do row index over here and that will return us the row index 
Let me just print this out as well so that you get to see what exactly this is. Get children return value. Okay. Otherwise, this is basically the same thing as this. Row ID, and then we type in values. Okay, we want the values. Let me just change this. And let's get all of the values from the first row. Okay, so there we go. This is... Okay, yeah, sorry. This is just a bit confusing because of this. But this is basically what it returns. The row IDs, which we indexed using the row index. We indexed it using uh, zero index. So, which gave us this value. Then we used this, this value in the tree.item method, which then gave us this, this row. And with this, we'll end the video. I think we've covered enough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in taking this concept further, we have another video, a follow-up video, where we discuss how to make this table editable. Because right now, you can't edit it. You can only read the values. So if you're interested, there'll be a link to it in the description below. Okay? See you guys later.